One of the most common ways for teachers to determine which assignments carry the most weight within their class is through the use of weighting within the gradebook. Now I'm going to use a spreadsheet to simulate a typical gradebook because it makes doing the math easy. And what we see across the top is what you would see if you had an unweighted gradebook. In other words, every assignment counts the same. So each quiz, each homework assignment, each classwork assignment, they all have a certain point value. You take the total points, divide it by the number of assignments, and you end up with your unweighted average. In a weighted gradebook, things are done a little bit differently. We take the average of each category, and then we multiply it times the amount that it's going to count towards the final grade. So for instance, our quizzes, our average is 91.5, multiplied by 0.3, or 30%, gives us 32.025 points towards the grade. Homework, average of 90 only counts 10% and gives us 9 points towards a final grade. And so you see how the math is done so that we end up with a final weighted average of 96.4 based on those categories that have been provided those particular weights. Now your weighting must always equal 100%. Anything less or more is going to skew the results. But you can see the difference in how the grades are calculated by just making a couple small changes. Let's say for instance that this homework assignment here is rather than getting at 100, let's say Johnny got a 70 instead, so 30 points less. Now watch what happens to both of the averages. The unweighted average drops almost 5 points but the weighted average barely drops at all. It's because homework only counts for 10%. Let's put that back to the original score and do the same thing for classwork, which counts the most in this gradebook. We'll take that down to a 65 instead of a 95, removing again the same 30 points. And once we accept that value change, then we'll see that the weighted average changed quite a bit in this case as opposed to the unweighted average. So weighting basically determines how much of the final score belongs to each category within the gradebook. You calculate that by determining the average of each category, multiplying times the percentage of the weight, and that ends up with a final weighted average for this gradebook.